Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Nady, and today we'll be trying out the Natasha Denono High Glam Concealer. As you beautiful people know, this is about the products, not the people behind them. Any tip you may have with them, please cast it away because this is a channel of positive energy, okay? Thank you. Oh, my little pickled beets, how you doing today? I hope wherever you're at in the world, you're having a great day so far. I myself am doing wonderful. It is such a beautiful day outside. I can't wait to go out and frolic. Tiptoe through some tulips. I'm in a high rise, so I can't tiptoe through some windows. That would be creepy. Gosh, what a weird song now that you think of it. I'm so excited to be trying this out today. Several people recommended it, and all of them said this was fucking amazeballs. Usually, Miss No-No does pretty damn good with their products. I love a lot of Natasha Denuno palettes. In fact, I use one of her eyeshadow mini palettes almost daily. They're just really good. I can't remember what else we've tried. Hold on, I have to Google myself. Just kidding. I do not Google myself because of Reddit, which I will say I love each and every one of you, but there are some major dumbasses out there and it seems like they all reside on Reddit. It is hilarious to watch people so angry about like stuff that I've done and I literally just sit in front of a camera and do this and people somehow take offense to stuff. It's very weird and that's the tea. So anyways, I have to YouTube myself. We did a bronze palette, a glam palette. Oh, we had a fake ass one. Damn, shit, we've reviewed a lot of her stuff, but no face products, so this will be a fun little cherry popping. And because this little lady says high glam, I'm assuming that might mean high coverage. Usually I attribute coverage to glam, but I guess that's not always true. This is a brightening and hydrating crease proof serum can squealer. You know what? I think I actually have the perfect product to pair this with. We recently tried the Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin if you haven't seen the review, honey, go watch it. Minor spoiler, it's a serum and it does minimal coverage, but I really needed a good concealer with it, so I think we might pair the two. And then I also am a no makeup makeup kind of gal, so on one side, I'll probably just use this alone. So I got the shades P3 and N8, totally different on the spectrum, but when I went to order, they were sold out of quite a lot. So if neither of these match me, honey, it's not my fault. Fuck, this looked the exact same, at least in person. On camera, I guess they look a little bit different, but not enough to be five shades different. What the hell? Oh, I do love the packaging though. It's very simplistic. It kind of reminds me of like the Kim Kardashian shit, except classier. And it's just the itty bitty titty details. Like this is a matte soft finish. The rest of it is just a basic bitch component, but that right there just luxes this up. Which is what the hell we expect from Natasha Denona. With those prices, we better get luxury. Let's give this a little bit of a stir and I will put this right on my wrist. This is number eight. Oh, that is not gonna be for me. It is neutral and oh well damn. Not the best wands. The hole is too small and the wand is too long and girthy. Honey don't I know it. Bitch tell me where the fuck the difference is in those. Uh-huh. Yeah, you can't. When I'm done editing, I always turn up the saturation and vibrance to my videos. It makes them a little bit more fresh and crisp. And so you might actually be able to tell a difference, but in person, the same thing. When I look in my monitor, this one almost seems a little bit more orangish and then the top one might be more pink. Oh, see, but there, the top one looks yellow, fuck. I don't know, but we can probably already assume that this isn't gonna match me. My face is freshly washed, moisturized, and primed, so let's just dive right in. She is just a point little nub of a doe foot and it also has a hole in the middle so it just collects a ton of product. I don't really know if this well means that I should use less product or more but we're just gonna start with two little baby blops. It ain't no school like the old school we're gonna take our fingers. Oh oh my oh that has some coverage. Oh, what I used might actually have been perfect. I was gonna say it's too much, but I don't think so. In person, it seems pretty well blended out, but you might be seeing like an orange strip there, or maybe you aren't, but damn, I think that's really pretty. It is immediately creasing though, so let me tap this into place because it's supposed to be crease proof. I did notice that it also wants to dry down pretty quickly, so that might be why it's crease proof, but my ass likes to show expression the moment I put shit on. We'll just keep tapping and let my under eye crepe solidify. That is pretty damn swell, right? I don't know that I even mind the color. I do mind the coverage. Like this for me is way too much. I probably should have gone in with just one bloop instead of two because it just looks unnatural. Like nobody looks like that. Doesn't matter how much kale you eat and green juice you suck down, no. So for the other side, I do know that I want some foundation, but when I used that foundation, the product on top of it didn't really fuck very well. So I think I'm actually gonna go in first with this concealer 
powder and not even touch that concealer with the foundation. And since the foundation is kind of on the minimal side, let's just take this tiny little bit. This might even be too fucking much. Shit. Oh, damn it. Okay, I'm gonna kind of scoop some off and try to paste it on my eyelid. I'll use it as a reserve because a little bit goes a really long ways. Like, look, it just covered up my blemish all with just one little tiny love tap. Okay, now we can just spread this between both eyelids. Make everything one solid color. You know what? Let's also take it up the nostrils too. Otherwise, I look like Rudolph. I think somehow I added even more to this side. It does look beautiful. Like, there is nothing underneath my eye. It's just like porcelain perfection. So that's great. And in my mind, that's kind of glam. Oh, shit. I think I'm actually going to leave this side alone for the testing. And maybe I'll do this side with the foundation. Just because it's a little bit more natural. That is fully blended as much as I possibly can blend it. So give me just a second to set directly under the eyes. I'm not touching my foundation to this powder. So we should be all right. Ooh, that's pretty. Wow. That actually is like second skin. Other than it being like insanely bright under underneath my eyes are just perfect, I would never know that I actually have makeup on. That is really impressive. If I continue using this, I hope I can actually get to the point where I just apply a tiny little dot instead of this bullshit. Cause that to me would be the only downfall is just wasting product. What do we think? Do we like it? I mean, personally I do. I can't wait to see how it looks after I set it with setting spray and kind of melt that powder. I definitely get the hype. Now for the foundation, we are gonna take some yummy skin right on the back of the hand. And I really liked finger banging this all over my face, but today I'm gonna use a brush only so I can be really precise with where I put this. It does almost blend into nothing so it really doesn't matter but it just adds a little tiny bit to the skin. Yes, yes. Ooh, pretty and very minimal. Can we tell I have anything on? Meh. But I kind of like that. Like to me that's the point in why I wear makeup. If somebody can't tell I'm wearing makeup but I just look better then go baby. And on this side you can tell I'm wearing makeup. On this side Meh. I just look healthy. I like it. I'm gonna take whatever is left on my poof and just drag it along the rest of my face. And we can set this beast with some liquid. Mmm. <sighs> yes. Oh my goodness, I'm a glowy monster. Am I just missing makeup all along there or did I not tan well? You know what? I was in the sun for quite a while and I had that part of my beard still attached. And when I trimmed my face, I exposed my facial farmer's tan. Fun. We're in our lane. We are moisturized. Our elbows are nice and soft. My face tan is just a good contour. And here we go. We are all dried-ish. Or at least dried enough to go into the wear time test. Everything feels very comfortable on my face. It doesn't feel like there's anything under my eyes. I do think that when the setting spray melted my powder under the eyes. It did kind of let a little bit of perps shine through. Normally I don't love a purple nurple underneath my eyes, but in this case with just the concealer, it was a little bit too much. So wherever we're at right now, I don't mind it. I think the formula so far is fucking beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and do a wear time test. I will see you in just a second at the end of my day. Oh, fancy seeing you here. Hi. So I just wanted to come on and show you how this looks in natural light. Honestly, it is equally as beautiful as in my studio. In fact, I actually think it looks more natural in natural lighting, which kind of makes me wonder if there was titanium dioxide in this and it was just flashback. I don't know, but like, see, we can see the purple. I do think my forehead is a completely different color. So maybe just a drop or two right there blended out would be perfect. But I mean, come the fuck on. I have no complaints with how this is performing so far. So I'm gonna wear her for the rest of the night. See you later. And we are back. It is the end of my day. And I've been sitting outside, which means she has allergies. I've been sitting, reading in the shade for many an hour, and then the street cleaner came, and now we look like this. But let's see how we're doing, because I have not even looked in the mirror until just now. Like, what the hell is happening? Got hair flying in every direction. Get your shit together. All right, so, ooh, we actually have a minor amount of creasiness. I don't know, can you see that? It's just a few little tiger stripes, and I jammed some powder almost into my eyeball. So I know this was set into place, but it does still have a little bit of a tiger stripe. Oh my gosh, I need some eye drops. But even though she does have a little bit of creasing, it still looks fucking phenomenal. I don't think it's changed very much. And like I was out in the heat, not enough to make my face perspirate or anything. Certainly not enough to slide this around, but it held up pretty well. I think I really like this. I am really curious to try this with just half as much and maybe the creasing wouldn't be as bad. But I I would probably feel more comfortable wearing that on a day-to-day -day basis, but the formula seems pretty damn good. Not perfect because
because of the creasiness. In fact, I would probably say that if you're gonna be in the heat, maybe not use this. But if you're in a nice air conditioned office or it's very tempid, slap this shit on your face, it's gorgeous. Could this be my new holy grail concealer? Well, I don't know about that, but it definitely does look pretty on camera. And I don't see any titanium dioxide in the ingredient list, but I do see silica, which I think does cause flashback. So that to me is probably why it looks so magical under these lights, but kind of normal under regular lighting. Both are pretty. In fact, if I don't use it in real life, I might just use it while filming. Yeah, it's nice. Oh my God, my poor eyes. I look stoned. I promise I have not imbibed. I don't know how people deal with allergies. Anyways, my loves, there you go. Thank you so much for being here. You know I love having ya. And if you want just a little bit more me in your life, head over to my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash poplux. You get videos a day early. You get Patreon-only content. And best part, it is cheap, fun, and fancy, just like me. I just spit. And don't forget, my latest Repop collection is available at repopcosmetics.com, as well as my YouTube store. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at OfficialNady, and you can follow me online at thepoplux.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye!